This video was brought to you by Marcus Beal, Elbil Mac, Abadur Planner, Stoltenberg, Camp Power, and Beal Componente. Yo, what's up? This is Opel Astra E Touring. It is a station wagon, which means that it should be a good family car, right? We're gonna find out by putting some uh, child seat and baby stroller in there. But also, of course, check how the interior is. And in the back, we have motorized lift gates. And one thing you'll notice with the Astra E when you open the trunk is that it is quite big and spacious, but also the loading height is quite low. Very nice. And here under the trunk, we have space for putting some cables and stuff. And you see, here is the, what the heck is that thing? And yeah, uh, this cover, you can remove it, but uh, it becomes a bit uh, impractical. So I will just leave it on. Yeah, and then we can just, yeah, tuck it like this. And now for the baby stroller test, I will take the e preamp and put it in the trunk. Let me see. I prefer to have that up there. And then we try to put the frame in. Uh, I'm not sure how. Maybe just like this. Wait. Uh, well, okay. I'm not sure how you're supposed to secure this, but let's just see if it fits. Ah. Oh. Okay. It fits there. Maybe there are other more secure ways to do it. There is actually a, a cargo securing net you could put in front there, and then you could just stow it like this. So this is approved. You see here, I have a little cargo net for putting some smaller bags there. Same on that side. Uh, this is actually handled for folding the seats, very practical. Well, except for that it just folds kind of. Yeah. Oh, there, there, there. Okay, yeah, all right, nice. And then we have 12 volt outlet in the trunk. There's also another 12 volt outlet in the front. And we have at least one light there. And you can see here, kind of hidden, but uh, we have actual sturdy hooks. There, uh, okay, well, it's kind of hard to, wow, it is hard to, there, 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 okay. And then wait, yeah, you will poke out like that for securing cargo. And you also have hooks over there, they are metal. All right, let's do the measurements. The trunk length is, 101 centimeter width is 103 centimeters quite spacious trunk the height there is 69 centimeters and then opening here that some people want to know is uh, 86 centimeters and then loading height is quite low i like it 63 centimeters and then let's see if we can just fold yeah you see we just fold the seats and then we also measure the folded state uh, there, wow, 185 centimeters. And then this side, the passenger side has been pushed all the way forward. Then we have 205 centimeters. And then diagonally for some IKEA uh, packages, 230, well, there, 220, 222 centimeters. Yeah, for a small car, then we actually have okay space here. And for easy fix base, we have this French opening. What was it? Can I show it? There is a zip here. You have to wriggle. Uh, but this is hard. Oh, there. Uh, I just zip it open. And then uh, I need to feel my finger. Okay, where is it? There, there, there. Okay, okay. Yeah. This is a bit clumsy. Okay, now I'm going to try to put the baby seat in here. Oh. What? Really? Uh, do I really have that little space? I think I need to push the front seat forward. Let me just. Whoa, that's it? Huh? That was the maximum forward. Uh, okay. Well, I just extend the hooks and then see if I can find uh, in here. Just have to poke it in. There, there, there. Okay, I think they latched. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, you can see here on the indicator. Push it all the way in. Okay, it stops beeping. But now, as a twist, instead of carrying this empty car seat, I will include uh, a jug, 10 liter jug. This is the water, baby. So if you put it in here, uh, this is going to be more realistic. Let me see. There, and then, oh shit, yeah, this is just like carrying my daughter in here. Oh, uh, 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 whoa, yeah, the opening was big enough, fortunately, see? Okay. Okay, and now we're gonna test how much space we have in the front. Holy macaroni! What? Uh, when we have cars seat in the back, uh, I need to adjust so that... 
Oh, oh no, 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 I can't. Okay, there, there. Now I'm just rubbing into the, the car seat. What? I'm 173 centimeters. And I'm, I have really poor space, I, you know? Even the ID3, which is based on MBB platform, pure EV platform, had way better space in a smaller car. But here, oh shit. Uh, or, okay, uh, and then I sit a bit upright. So if I want to go uh, more recline, I have to then push the seat more forward and then I can recline. When they have this twist. Uh, oh, no, no, wait, huh? I've hit the seat already. What? Uh, okay, you can go, wait, no, that was already. That was already the most forward, if you want to recline more. Oh, holy macaroni, this is so cramped. Okay, let's measure the back seat. The width is 130 centimeters. And then the height here is 32 centimeters only. So not that high. In comparison, when I tested ID7 recently, I bragged about that it had 35 centimeters so you have three centimeter better seating height means that in here you sit a bit like this just exaggerating and i instantly feel like it is cramped here oh i cannot even put my feet under the front seat you see this is this kind of stuff that at least i check nobody else checks this but it means that you can't really stretch your legs i mean i'm even just 173 centimeters and i oh i feel cramped back here well, how is the headroom then? Let me just check that part. Uh, wait, head. here. Oh, okay, not a fist. We're talking about roughly three fingers of clearance. And then what about the middle seat? Um, middle seat is maybe even slightly worse, maybe two fingers. And then, because this is not the pure EV platform, then you have a little hump here, even though I'm not sure what the heck that hump is for. And then, yeah, the passenger in the back seat, they have to fight over one USB port but at least it seems to be USB C. Wait, what is it? Is this another port or something? I'm not sure what the heck this is. And then we have regular air vents here. And you see in the door we just have lots of hard plastic except for this part. And here we have door pocket, the speaker grill there and the door closing sound. At least that's okay. And then we have a little pocket here for storing new shits. And then here we have a center console. But then how do you open it? Well, you just have to squeeze in your finger there. And there you're supposed to put your phone here, I think, like this. And then you have two cup holders there. And then this has the, the 40, 20, 40 folding solution. So you can fold it like this in case you need to carry some skis. And then in the front, well, yeah, you see, I look like I chopped my head. Well, the car is so low, that's why. But I need to set the camera like this so we can see the car when I sit down at least. So here we have some electric adjustments on the seats. Uh, wait, oh, I need to fire up the car. Man, uh, really? But okay, so there's some seat adjustments here. What? Why cannot, I cannot use them? Do I need to... There, click, click, okay. The contactors, okay. Now let me show you. So you can at least change the angle of the seat electric, but if you want to go forward, you have to do this. <laughs> okay. And then the steering wheel can be adjusted up and down, in and out, that's good. And then, the sun visor will rotate like this, but it will not extend. And here we just have also some hard plastic, some soft materials there. Okay, a nice big door pocket. A little bit unconventional knob for changing or to, for adjusting the mirror. You have to twist it like this and then you can adjust it and then you twist it this side to adjust. Okay, door closing sound is okay. And then also when I'm open, as you see better, the air vent here is adjusted like this, up and down, and then to the side. Hmm, interesting. Uh, it just means that you have to move your finger, you have to move your hand if you want to do the other axis for adjustment, okay. <laughs> yeah, unlike, unlike here where it's more conventional, you just go up and down, you know, the same 
the same okay whatever and maybe i'm just nitpicking we actually have an engine start stop button why <laughs> there is no engine in here okay yeah at least steering wheel at least we have button physical buttons no none of that haptic feedback shit that we have in the mb cars and no no no, no cancel cancel didn't get that okay yeah whatever helga yeah so um conventional stocks that sound though oh, that would drive me nuts i would not use turn signal okay <laughs> anyway so yeah we have this also interesting center console layout uh, let me see maybe i should open this door so we get more light in here ah uh, there okay but i'll show you um we have 12 volt outlet here well, how is this again we open it yeah, open it like this okay throw outlet there we have two usb a wait is it usb i'm actually not sure um it's kind of hard to tell i need to bring out the uh, but let me see um we also have a place for the phone here let me just check out no no they're usb c they are <laughs> they have this sign like usb a but they are usb c formulae and then i was thinking oh wait i can i can charge my phone there but then when i drop the phone there, 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 there. okay chargers yeah last time i tried it didn't work so at least it it is a space there and then you can close this okay that looks stylish but it's just a bit weird that you have to dig all the way in here to get your phone and then here you see space for something else there but it's just a bit pointy everything like i don't know they have the, this edge here we have cup holder there the gear selector drive mode here uh, more space for some stuff here and then here we have the center console room and it is remarkably shallow look how shallow why can't we have a deep room here like most evs um okay maybe there's a uh, placeholder for uh the the hvac vents to the rear but still that doesn't take up that much space so maybe it's just space for the shaft on the all-wheel drive fossil version i actually don't know yeah all right anyway let me stop complaining let me check what is important headroom oh yeah we have more headroom here you see a little bit over a fist of headroom the seats look nice though so yeah, I used to own a fresh French car before Renault Laguna. They had nice seats, so at least the French they know how to make good seats. Do we have Isofix base here? No, I mean sorry, Isofix um, hooks. Nope, not in the front. And then, oh yeah, also if, I think this matters for long people. This cushion here cannot be adjusted; it is fixed there. What the heck is that sound? Sounds like water is running somewhere. Uh, okay, HVAC is off. Well, whatever. So you see. We have a nice and large instrument cluster here. Shows you some uh, status. Uh, we have also state of charge in percentage. I like it. And then here we have the infotainment screen. This user interface is a bit weird. It, 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 you need some time to get used to. Uh, uh, you go home here, and then you have navigation here. Yeah, So, but it's like, you know, this is more conventional. When you are in navigation, you are in navigation, right? The more modern design, you will have the navigation on the bottom layer, and then you have other layers on top of it here. It's not like that. Oh, you can swipe it like this, okay. Uh, and you can swipe. Oh, okay, you have this screen, but then you have uh, navigation, but some something else here. So, yeah, okay, whatever. Um, maybe not the most intuitive and most modern uh, user interface, but at least it, uh, it is a touch screen. So there you guys have it. Opel Astra E. Is it cool? Yes. Is it practical? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Is it modern? Um, no, I feel like it's a bit outdated. It's also front wheel drive, not rear wheel drive, like EV should be. Or all wheel drive, of course. And then is it spacious? Um, not that really. But you know, this is 4.64 meters long. Model 3, which is considered not that big, is 4.7 meters. So I think that's why you have somewhat limited space. And also because this is based on a fossil platform, not a pure EV platform, maybe then they haven't designed everything to be optimized for EV when it comes to space. And then what about efficiency? Well, we're gonna find out. So uh, how good is it as a family car? Well, it is okay, at least when it comes to trunk space, but when it comes to passenger space, then I feel like it is somewhat cramped and even smaller pure EVs like ID3 would have more space. So yeah, I think that's gonna be it for now. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.